Yo, what is up my zombielings, it's your boy Haunting Zombie, back with another video on the channel. So in today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Minecraft Windows 10 RTX beta. Yes, it's finally out for a beta, and I'm so excited to try it. So, of course, if you have the correct beta, it'll be 1.15.0.8. If you have 1.14 or 1.16, you have the wrong version, and you'll have to try again. But don't you worry, I will be showing you how to get the beta, some snapshots of what the beta or uh, of what the RTX ray tracing looks like and also how to get ray tracing in your regular world. So with that said, let's get cracking. So first things first, I'm going to be showing you what the um uh one of the uh what's it called? The templates. So of course I'm gonna do a uh, color light and shadow RTX because it's my favourite one out of the bunch. Um let's go. Yeah, let's go creative and quick cheats just in case. All right, let's do it. So it also comes with its resource pack as well, which is why it's got ray tracing, that you need the ray tracing compatible resource pack for it to work. But don't you worry, if you want to get this resource pack in your own world, um, here's the hind stamp, which will take you straight to the tutorial. Things with this beta, it takes a long time to load. <laughs> Yes guys, if you're on the beta, you won't, you won't be able to join those on the 1.16 beta or the main version of Minecraft. You can only join those who are on the RTX beta. And I gotta say, this looks lush. So let me show you what it looks like without the ray tracing real quick. Wow, that looks bland. Honestly, that looks bland. And then if we quickly turn it back on again. You can see the difference straight away, and I gotta say, it is remarkable. I mean, that's blue terracotta, that's lion terracotta. Like, terracotta glows. I mean, it glows! I mean, that's crazy! So let's say we go in here. And oh, wow. So you got the, the light from the sun blasting out of these holes. You got the torches. What block is that, real quick? Oh, pink terracotta. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, and you got the different uh, lights as well. So you got glowstone, you got block of diamond, emerald, lazuli, redstone. And I'm like, what? They can't. All of these can't admit light. And we even got mirrors. So if you get the uh, red never brick, it is basically a mirror block. I'm not sure why that is, but it's a mirror block. So if we go some glowstone over here. And then we put our mirrors there, look. Sure, we, we're not sure, we're, we can't see our character, but we can definitely see the block we're holding. And that is pretty cool. Oh, it works if you're in third person, look, if you're in third person, look. You can see yourself! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, let's try and take a selfie. Hang on, let me uh, clear my inventory. Let me take a selfie. <laughs> but it doesn't work. Oh my god, that's my arm. <laughs> it's just an arm. Oh, that's so cool. No, honestly, no, honestly, I really love this. I love this so much. And there we go. We've got the different types of... we got the glowstone and we got... A, is that diamond block? Yeah, it is. Um, and so on. I, I, just, I just love it. I love it. Okay, so it's now night time. Wow, it looks weird. So we have... So we should have no sunlight. Coming through here. Now you can see it's literally just pitch black outside and it's all lit up. Wow. This all looks lush, I gotta say. Let me, kn let me know in the comments below of what you get up to with the RTX uh, ray tracing. Because I certainly love it. So, let's get cracking with the tutorial, shall we? Starting off of how to get the beta. Okay, so once you get to your Windows 10 desktop, um, just quickly hop onto the Microsoft Store. And then click up inside... Oh dear, I got that wrong. Then, then quickly search up Insider. And then what you need to do is then go onto the Xbox Insider Hub. And then download it. Once downloaded, just click launch 
so it will take a couple of seconds to download there we go so if you haven't made an Xbox Insider account yet just feel free to do it we'll go through the terms of service and stuff like that so once you get to the screen you then go to the Insider content and then click on Minecraft for Windows 10 um, if you haven't signed up yet it will come up with a join button but before you click that join button guys make sure you back up any existing worlds you have that you plan to go on with this beta because if you because once you load up a world in this beta, you will not be able to load it in the normal version of Minecraft ever again. So please be aware of that. So if you if you plan to launch any worlds in the well, with, ray tra with ray tracing or in the 1.16 beta, make sure you back on up first by clicking on the pencil icon on your world, and then scroll down to export world and save it in a file somewhere. So make sure you do that first before you click the join. So once you click join. Um, it will say pending and then you may have to wait a couple of seconds or minutes depending on your how busy the servers are but once you're ready to go it will come up with manage and show in store if it just comes up with manage only uh, it means that your current account doesn't own the um, uh, a version of this minecraft so be sure to make sure you own a copy of minecraft windows 10 version to work because if you don't it might not work properly but if it works for you then happy days so once you got that, it means you're in the program, and then what you're going to do now is quickly hop back into the Microsoft Store, and then just search up uh, Minecraft, and then click on it. Um, if you give it a couple of minutes, it will auto-update yourself, but if you want to skip those minutes and just get on with it as quickly as you can, just um, all you got to do is quickly uninstall the game by going into Window and then going on Minecraft. Um, I don't know why you're here. Let's quickly uninstall you. Oh, not even there. Must be a shortcut that's broken. So anyway, so if you want to uninstall Minecraft, just click, right click it and then click install, uninstall. And then reinstall it from the Microsoft Store, which will then come with the update. So with that, with that set of how to get the beta, let's jump into the RTX ray tracing, shall we? Okay, so now we're back onto Minecraft. Um, let's... Let's check out a regular world with ray tracing. So I'm going to pick the um, the resource pack that I was on earlier. Because, you know, it's my favourite one. There are loads of others to choose from in the, on the marketplace. So you just go into marketplace, type in RTX, and you just and you can just download the template straight from there. Uh, the, but if you want to get this resource packs into the um, into your regular world, like I have on this one. like This this is the same resource pack I had on the um, Colors, Lights and Shadows uh, world template. So as you can see all the ores are now glowing. I have to say this looks absolutely like Oh, oh, fun that opportunity, fun that opportunity. Oh yeah. This looks cool. So if we position ourselves here. Uh, get us in the middle. Actually no, go back, go back, go back. So we've got a torch in the middle. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So let's screenshot this. So if I go to Oh yeah, it's all F1, I think, for screenshot. There you go, got the screenshot. Yeah, boy, I got the screenshot. Okay, so that'll be this, that'll be the thumbnail. Um, and yeah, so obviously this was meant to be a survival I style, but I thought, nah. I'm just going to make this look really nice. And you've got the torch as well. It's really cool that you can see all the iron just below as well, so you can see where all the different ores are. Um, Let's jump straight to the uh, tutorial of how to get the texture packs and the resource packs in your own world. Okay, so, so once you go back to your Windows 10 uh, desktop, just open up your Fire Explorer or just go into your little search bar here and go app data with the percent percentage marks each way. Um, if you don't have this search bar, just go to your Fire Explorer and type it up from the top. It should work just fine. Okay, so then once you get up to this screen, you go into app data and then you go to local and then click on uh, packages and then find the one that says Minecraft. I mean, microsoft.minecraft uwp which is that one and then once you click that go into local state then premium cache and then we'll templates so ooh, that's not supposed to be there let's uh, delete that one okay so then you've got your different resource packs so if you want to know which one it is, just click on it and then click on the world icon. And there you go. So, I already have a copy of this in the world already. 
so we're going to do a different one we've, we've done earlier. So let's try this one for instance, let's see what it is. Ah, Temple Totem, so yeah, let's, let's do this one. So, so you click on the resource pack you want, and then you go into resource packs, and then where it says RP0, um, you're going to need to turn that into a zip file. So you're going to need to create a zip file out of it, so if you're using pzip, you should right click it, come up here, uh, and then add to zip, or if you have a different software, you should know what to do. So what you need to do is uh, convert that into a zip file, so zip it all up, just like that. And then what you need to do is then uh, it will come up with this, copy the zip file, just like that, or you can do control C, that also works. And then you need to go quickly route back to local state, and then go to games com.mojang then resource packs and then paste it into here once you've pasted it um, open up the uh, then open up your extracting software so pzip again uh, then click extract here so extract it into this directory guys and then once you're done with that you can delete the zip file because you will not need it anymore just like that and then you can name this to whatever you want so and it should work so let's say so let's name it temple just for the sake of the video and then the RTX one was the one I showed you earlier the um, the shadow color showcase one that's that one and now we've got the temple one so what that basically does is it allows you to put whatever resource pack from my resource packs from marketplace content straight into another world and the reason why we zip it up and then unzip it is so it bypassed this uh, block that Minecraft's got. So if you go to move, uh, just copy and paste it into this folder without uh, zipping it up, uh, it would come up with, an, with uh, an alert saying you cannot do it. So, so if you zip it up, paste it, and then unzip it, it bypasses that and it works just fine. So now that we've done that, let's quickly go back into Minecraft. Um, let's create a brand new world. And then if you've done this correctly, once you click resource packs and then go to my packs, there it is. So off, to off temples and totems, there it is. So we can uh, activate that. And then let's just go starting map, why not? Show coordinates, why not? Uh, I'm going to enable cheat so I can showcase what this one has to offer. And then honestly, this is a brand new world, guys. It works perfectly fine. Ah, there we go. So now we got the... Uh, Temple of Totems uh, resource pack enabled, and of course Ray Trace is now enabled. So if we quickly turn it off, we can uh, see what it is. So here, here it is without ray tracing. So uh, at the moment, guys, with this beta, um, maps are broken. Like it, do it just doesn't show. It just keeps glitching out like that. So maps currently don't work in this update, guys. But hopefully that will be fixed in a future update. Um, so let's just get like honestly, it's changed the texture pack entirely, and I absolutely love it. It's just it just looks so cool. I mean, and this is and this is the texture pack with ray tracing off, guys. This is it. This is it with it off. So now, if we go to turn it on, um, I'm not sure why the upscaling isn't working. It's probably because I only have a 1080p monitor, I think. If you guys know why it won't let me use uh, upscaling, please do let me know. Um, but yeah, here it is with the uh, ray tracing on, and I gotta say, it looks absolutely mint. It's a brand new world and it just works just like I'm that. It. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that iron golem? Oh wow. That is a crazy iron golem. Jesus. Brave. So if we quickly switch it. So if we quickly set it to midnight real quick. So it should all go dark real for a second. Oh wow. Like you can see how the effect with the torches is have an effect on the village. It doesn't light it up as much as the... Um, Regular, so if we quickly turn it back off again. You can see the, the world's a little bit brighter, but that's because it's the standard lighting effects. But if we go back to ray tracing, it goes a little bit darker, but it's a lot more realistic, and I absolutely in love with it. So if we also, of course, we use the sea lantern, it lights up just like that, and I think if we put the glass on top. <laughs> it looks so cool, guys, honestly. I absolutely love it. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know what you guys get up to with the ray tracing. Uh, whether it's um, making communist flags like IBX Toycat did in his video. Or 
trying to beat the Ender Dragon with ray tracing on or whatever you guys get up to, do let me know in the comments below. If you want to join the Discord, links in the description. Come and join our come join our community. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And of course, feel free to deafen our ears with the notification bell as always. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one while I quickly blend into the darkness with these beautiful lighting graphics. See you next time. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be.